What's up, Vape family? How's everybody doing? It's been a couple of days since I've filmed a couple of reviews. Um, I've been very, very busy, and I just haven't had the time. And the crappy thing is, I've got to film them at night, and I've got this crappy artificial lighting from the light bulb. It, it makes the room real weird and yellow, and I wear a hat most of the time because my hair is too damn long. And uh, it puts a shadow over my face. So I apologize for the quality of these reviews. And as time goes on and the channel gets a little bit more traffic, I guess I would say, and, and we get some more subscribers, we'll obviously relocate, upgrade equipment, and um, I will definitely have better reviews for you guys. But so far, um, everybody seems to enjoy these reviews, which makes me very, very happy, which motivates me to keep doing them. So, that's that. Welcome, guys, to another installment of the Liquid King Chronicles. And, of course, guys, I'm your host, the Liquid King, your mom's favorite vapor and your uncle's favorite YouTuber. <laughs> um, today, we're going to be doing a, a review on um, one of the e-liquids e from the Steam Factory. And this liquid was sent to me for purpose of review, but it was not sent to me from the Steam Factory. It was actually sent from a wonderful, wonderful person um, in the vape community. So I don't know if you guys know him, but it's uh, Heath Tatum, Channing Tatum's uh, better looking older brother. <laughs> I don't know, he's one of the admins in Tallahassee, and he's pretty active in the community. So I want to personally say thank you, Heath. Um, I'm extremely, extremely grateful that you would want the channel to keep going and to basically pay it forward by sending me an e-liquid to review. Um, when I got the message from you, I was absolutely blown away and humbled that you'd want to spend your money to watch me do a review. It's, it blows my mind, and, and um, somebody else did it as well which I will mention them when I do review the e-liquids, but the gentleman sent me um, two e-liquids. So the, 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 the love that I felt doing these reviews is absolutely fantastic, and I try to be myself. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy these reviews, like I said, and um, I do my best to give honest, straightforward, accurate reviews, and of course, all the flavor profiles that I enjoy is obviously subjective. What I like, you may not like. And I do my best to, to, to keep it current. The big thing that I was doing at the beginning is just simply pulling stuff out of my collection um, almost a year, two years old. Not not, my, not for my collection, but the actual e-liquid was released two years ago. And I wasn't getting many views. And I know that the more stuff I have current, it gets more traffic. People share it more. And that's fantastic, and it means the world to me. So let's dive right into this review. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in, and let's get to it. So... Van, um, what the heck's the name of the company? The Steam Factory has eight liquids, okay, in their collection. And, and, and it's really, really cool, the, the liquids that they have. I've read some of the profiles, but we've got Muff Cake, um, Blue Balls. We've got Screwberry, Screwbacco, Larry, which I really want to try, um, Kismet, Castaway, and the e-liquid that we're going to be reviewing today is... Vanity. The light is crap in here, so I don't know if you could see that, but they put a lot of work into the artwork for these labels. I think they're absolutely beautiful. They almost look like watercolors. They do a great, great job on the label itself. Okay, so what we'll do is I'll tell you a little bit about the e liquid. I don't know if you've never tried it, but it is called Vanity. Okay, so what Vanity consists of is peach milk obviously tea and vanilla so it is a 70 30 vgpg mix and it comes in 0 3 6 12 and 18 milligram nicotine <sighs> excuse me sorry post nasal drip but um and it does come in only 30 milliliter bottles currently and these will run you a pretty penny of 22 dollars and i will post a link in the description of where you can get this liquid if you so choose to um and at the end of the video we'll know what i think of it so first thing i'd say is i feel 22 dollars is a little high okay nowadays the trend is 60 mo bottles 
Um, yeah, 22 bucks is a little steep. So, hope this is worth it. Hope it's pretty dang tasty. So, the accuracy of profile is peach milk, tea, and vanilla. I'm going to go ahead and crack the bottle open and give it a sniff and let you know what I basically smell. Very, very, very strong peach aroma. What it reminds me of a lot is the aroma from uh, Fields of Dreams. I think it's Kindred, to my knowledge, that, that smells like peach. It's got a very genuine flavor. It's, it's, it's almost floral to me. Not getting much milk, but I do get some tea notes. It smells almost like a Snapple. Not getting any vanilla, so let me see if I can taste it, what the stuff tastes like. It tastes like it's loaded with sweetener. It's a pretty sweet, it's a pretty sweet e-liquid, so I'm going to assume that this is going to be a little damaging, okay, on your coils. But I could be wrong. So... What I'm going to be vaping this in is a new tank that I actually got today. It's an RDTA, I think is what they're called. I'm new to this stuff, so don't make fun of me, guys. But it's a uh, Moonshot. So I've got Moonshot 24 that I picked up from a local vape shop. Shout out to good fellow vapor in Swansea. Okay, got a very, very good deal on this. And Lou's a great guy. For people that know him, he's an asshole. If you don't know him, he's a great guy. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. But yeah. Um, got it on the Sigeli 213, and the really cool thing is it's it's made by Supremo. So, really cool. Um, took me a little while to, to get used to building on this. Um, the first one just poured and pissed e-liquid straight out. I had to make sure that um, I packed it in properly. So, with no further ado, let's check the vapor on this e-liquid. Very, very, very good solid clouds from the 70-30 VGPG split. Um, and then one more. Yeah. Very, very, very good clouds coming from this e-liquid. Um, if I was to give it a 1 through a 5, hmm. I mean, they're dissipating pretty quickly. i give it a 3.5. Yeah, 3.5. On cloud production um, I've seen I've seen thicker clouds from from different e-liquids so I guess it depends on the VG or the, that they that they're using in the e-liquid but um yeah pretty damn good stuff so what I always always like to focus on the most is accuracy of profile and the flavor that I'm getting from this e-liquid and the moonshot okay which I was very hesitant from but the moonshot gives Amazing, amazing flavor, guys. So, we get one more, sorry. So I'm vaping this at 65 watts. I've got dual Claptons in here. And what I'm getting from this is a very, very, very sweet peach flavor. Okay. Not getting much milk from it. Uh, maybe on the undertone, a little bit on the nasal exhale. And very, very, very little vanilla. That's what my taste buds taste. Um, you guys may taste nothing but vanilla. Everybody's palate is different. But I find this to be a little bit on the sweet side, okay? So that's a con for me. Um, I, sometimes if I'm in the mood for a sweet e-liquid, I would prefer that to be more of a dessert -y rather than this sort of drink blend. Um, it doesn't knock my socks off. It's probably because I'm not used to um, e-liquids like this. So um, would I buy a bottle of this? Probably not, to be honest. Probably not. 
Um, again, you may love it. You, you may be watching this and be like, this guy's crazy. I love peach e-liquid. If you love peach e-liquid, more power to you. I've got a couple of them. To be honest with you, um, I love taffy. Blows this out of the water. Um, that's just my opinion, which it does have sweetener as well, but it's a, it's a different profile. This is, this is on the sweet side for me. So if I was to give this a 1 through a 10, 1 being I want to throw it in the trash, and 10 being it's absolutely fantastic and it's blowing my socks off, I would give this a... I would give this a seven. I'd give it a respectful seven because it does have good flavor. It's not crazy, crazy sweet. Um, it does have undertones of vanilla, which I really enjoy. I would have preferred a little bit, um, a little bit less on the peach if they pulled back the peach a little bit, increased the vanilla and the tea to give give it more of a tea flavor. Very, very subtle, very gentle. That's my opinion. Okay. Which doesn't really mean much. It's completely subjective. But that's why you, that's why you watch my reviews. Because you appreciate my opinion. So it is pretty tasty. But it doesn't knock my socks off. Will I vape the rest of this bottle? Absolutely. Um, maybe it'll change my mind after I vape it for a little while. In the moonshot. But guys, yeah. That's pretty much how I feel about it. Again, I'm going to run through everything really fast. So $22 for a 30 ml bottle, 0, 3, 6, 12, and 18 milligram nicotine. I do have eight liquids in their collection. This particular one is a 7030 VG PG, um, and profile is peach, milk, tea, and vanilla. Okay, so again, I'll post the link in the description of where you can acquire this elixir if you choose to do so. Guys, thank you so much for supporting me in my endeavors. Thank you so much for showing so much love in the comment section and on Facebook, social media. Again, thank you so much. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Make sure you subscribe if you like the review. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Have them subscribe. Tell your mom and your dad, your aunties and your uncles to subscribe if they vape. Okay? This concludes this review. I am the Liquid King, and thank you so much. I will see you guys very, very soon.